Hey everyone, this is just a quick video. I was stupid and I didn't clean my brush the other day. And so as you can see, it has, you know, got hard. Thankfully, oil paint is still a little bit flexible. It doesn't get, you know, rock hard until a few years. So the solution to this is pretty simple. Um, sadly, your brush is never going to be back though. Okay, so, but we can do something to save it a little bit. So what you need to do is take a jar and take some vinegar. Fill jar with vinegar. Put brush into jar. Wait for 24 hours. So it's been 24 hours now. We're going to take the brush out of the vinegar, and as you can see here, the paint has been eaten away by the acids in the vinegar. It's starting to peel away a little bit. So what we're going to do now is take our rag, and we're simply going to pinch with our fingers like this and very gently begin to pull off that old paint. You can actually see it coming off there. Very gently. You're just pulling out. You're not squishing too much. Just starting to pull off that paint. Already I can see it's got much cleaner. And I will then just go into my paint thinner and clean my brush normally. Again. And I'm just gonna clean the brush here. Good. Now we can see on this brush that it's pretty clean now. And the good thing about the vinegar is that it really gets up into the base of the brush here and it gets rid of the, a lot of that old stuff. So you can see how it was moving before, and now we have our bristles back. Now, for, for doing this for a really pointy brush, it's obviously going to be difficult to get that tip again. So one way to do that, and somebody just told me this in art school, and I believed them, so I'm perpetuating it. I don't know if it's completely true, but you get a shot glass of milk, and you just dip it in milk. And supposedly this will help you retain a point. Once it's dipped in milk, let's make a point with the brush. I don't know what the reasoning is behind the milk. Perhaps it's like, has some natural fats in it that condition the brushes a little bit. In that case, maybe you could use a little bit of lotion or something. I don't know. But here we've got a little bit of a tip back, as you can see. And um, you should let this dry, you know, let the milk kind of dry and make sure that it, you know, retains its maximum pointiness. But usually after I have destroyed one of my brushes by forgetting to clean it, I kind of have to, you know, relegate it to you know, being a dry, uh, dry brush for blending, these sort of things. You're not going to ever get that perfect tip back. But this isn't bad. This isn't bad. So that's how to clean your brush. And if you like this sort of thing, go to paintingcourse.com and start taking the course today.